Howdy, folks. Welcome to a special journey down memory lane as we saddle up for a, then and now, exploration of the classic Western TV series, Wagon Train. Wagon Train is a classic American Western television series that originally aired on NBC from 1957 to 1962 and then on ABC from 1962 to 1965. The show was created by Frank McGrath and starred Ward Bond as the Wagon Master, Seth Adams. The series followed the adventures of a wagon train as it traveled from town to town, facing various challenges and encounters along the way. Each episode typically featured a self-contained story, with the wagon train encountering different characters and situations in each new location. The show was known for its ensemble cast, with various actors and guest stars appearing in different episodes. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the main actors who brought the dusty trails and adventurous spirit to life. From the charismatic wagon master to the rugged trailblazers, these actors became household names during the golden age of television. So, grab your hat and saddle, and let's hitch a ride through time. Ward Bond as Seth Adams. In the rugged terrain of Benkelman, Nebraska, a future legend was born on April 9, 1903. Ward Bond, the man who would later become the indomitable wagon master, Seth Adams, entered the world with a destiny etched in the dust of the Wild West. Ward Bond's journey through life lasted until November 5, 1960, leaving behind a legacy that transcends the boundaries of time. Ward Bond found his true calling in the world of acting, becoming a cornerstone of the golden age of Hollywood. He portrayed Seth Adams in the iconic TV series, Wagon Train, a role that defined his career and endeared him to audiences across the nation. Biography and Career Bond's path to stardom was paved with dedication and versatility. His career began on the Broadway stage, but the allure of the silver screen soon beckoned. With a towering presence and a voice that commanded attention, Bond became a go-to actor for Western roles, embodying the spirit of the untamed frontier. Beyond, Wagon Train, Bond's career spanned over two decades and included collaborations with legendary directors such as John Ford and Frank Capra. His filmography reads like a who's who of Hollywood's finest, with memorable appearances in classics like The Searchers and It's a Wonderful Life. Most successful roles. While Bond's filmography is vast, it is his portrayal of Seth Adams, the wise and charismatic wagon master in Wagon Train, that remains etched in the collective memory of viewers. Bond's ability to convey authority with a touch of warmth made Seth Adams a timeless character, and the series itself a cornerstone of Western television most prestigious awards. Ward Bond's contributions to the entertainment industry were acknowledged with nominations for prestigious awards. Although an Academy Award eluded him, Bond's impact on the Western genre and television as a whole secured his place as an influential figure in Hollywood history. Reason for death. Tragically, Ward Bond's journey came to an untimely end at the age of 57. On November 5, 1960, Bond suffered a heart attack, leaving behind a void in the entertainment world. His legacy, however, lives on through the characters he brought to life and the indomitable spirit of the wagon master he so brilliantly portrayed. Robert Horton as Flint McCullough. Born on July 29, 1924, in Los Angeles, California, Robert Horton graced the world with his presence and left an indelible mark on the Western genre. His portrayal of Flint McCullough in Wagon Train, catapulted him into the hearts of viewers, making him a household name. Horton's journey spanned from July 29, 1924, to March 9, 2016, and his impact on the entertainment industry remains evergreen. Biography and Career Robert Horton's journey into acting began on the stage, where he honed his craft before transitioning to the burgeoning world of television and film. His rugged good looks and charismatic presence made him a sought-after leading man in the 1950s and 60s. Horton's versatility allowed him to seamlessly navigate between genres, showcasing his talent in both drama and musicals. Most successful roles. While Horton's career included diverse roles, it was his portrayal of Flint McCullough, the scout with a heart of gold, that became synonymous with his name. The character's unwavering loyalty and adventurous spirit endeared him to audiences, solidifying Horton's status as a Western icon. Most prestigious awards. Though awards may not have adorned his shelves, Robert Horton's contribution to the success of Wagon Train and the Western genre as a whole secured his place in the pantheon of television history.
His performances, marked by authenticity and charisma, remain celebrated by fans of classic TV. Reason for Death. On March 9, 2016, at the age of 91, Robert Horton rode into the sunset one last time. His legacy lives on through the timeless tales of the frontier and the enduring memory of Flint McCullough, a character that captured the essence of the untamed West. Frank McGrath as Charlie Wooster. In the heart of Mount City, Missouri, on February 2, 1903, a comedic talent was born who would leave an indelible mark on the world of Western television. Frank McGrath, the man behind the lovable cook Charlie Wooster in Wagon Train, brought joy and laughter to audiences. His journey spanned from February 2, 1903, to May 13, 1967. Biography and Career Frank McGrath's path to stardom was as colorful as the characters he portrayed. A versatile actor, McGrath started in vaudeville before transitioning to film and television. His knack for humor and a distinctive voice made him a standout in the industry, earning him roles in both westerns and comedies. Most Successful Roles McGrath's career reached its zenith with the role of Charlie Wooster in Wagon Train. As the cook with a heart of gold, McGrath's comedic timing and endearing portrayal turned Charlie into a fan favorite. His chemistry with the rest of the cast added a delightful dimension to the series. Most prestigious awards. While awards eluded him, Frank McGrath's impact on the entertainment landscape cannot be understated. His ability to infuse humor into dramatic narratives and create memorable characters earned him a lasting place in the hearts of viewers. Reason for Death. On May 13, 1967, Frank McGrath left the stage for the final time. His departure marked the end of an era, but his contributions to the world of entertainment, especially his role as Charlie Wooster, continue to evoke smiles and laughter among fans of classic television. Terry Wilson as Bill Hawks. In the heartland of Huntington Park, California, on September 3, 1923, Terry Wilson came into this world with a spirit destined for the untamed frontier. His journey spanned from September 3, 1923, to March 30, 1999, and left an enduring legacy in the world of Western television. Wilson's most memorable role was that of Bill Hawks in Wagon Train, where he became a stalwart companion on the dusty trails of the Old West. Biography and Career Terry Wilson's early life hinted at the resilience that would define his career. A World War II veteran, Wilson transitioned from the battlefield to the Hollywood soundstage, where his rugged charm and no-nonsense demeanor made him a natural fit for Western roles. His career saw him saddle up for numerous TV appearances and film roles, but it was in Wagon Train that he found his true home. Most Successful Roles As Bill Hawks, the steadfast and reliable scout, Wilson embodied the essence of the Old West. His character's loyalty and unwavering commitment to the wagon train made Bill Hawks an integral part of the series. Wilson's portrayal resonated with audiences, solidifying his status as a Western icon. Most Prestigious Awards While accolades may not have adorned his career, Terry Wilson's contribution to the success of Wagon Train and the Western genre as a whole earned him a place in the hearts of fans. His performances, marked by authenticity and a rugged charisma, stand as a testament to the enduring appeal of classic television. Reason for Death On March 30, 1999, at the age of 75, Terry Wilson took his last ride into the sunset. His passing marked the end of an era, but his legacy as Bill Hawks continues to live on, echoing through the canyons and trails of the Wild West he so convincingly brought to life. John McIntyre as Christopher Hale, later seasons. Born in Spokane, Washington, on June 27, 1907, John McIntyre emerged as a seasoned actor whose career spanned the decades of Hollywood's golden era. His journey unfolded from June 27, 1907, to January 30, 1991, leaving an indelible mark on both film and television. McIntyre found acclaim in the later seasons of Wagon Train, where he assumed the role of Christopher Hale, bringing wisdom and gravitas to the beloved series. Biography and Career John McIntyre's journey into acting began on the stage, where he honed his craft before making the leap to the silver screen. His commanding presence and versatility allowed him to seamlessly transition between genres, earning him a reputation as a reliable character actor. McIntyre's career featured a wide array of roles, but it was his stint on Wagon Train that showcased the depth of his talent. Most Successful Roles as Christopher Hale, the successor to Ward Bond's Seth Adams, 
McIntyre added a new layer of wisdom and authority to the series. His portrayal of the Wagon Master brought a different dynamic to the show, earning him accolades from fans and critics alike. Most prestigious awards. Throughout his illustrious career, McIntyre's contributions earned him recognition, including a Tony Award for his work on Broadway. While specific awards for Wagon Train may have been elusive, McIntyre's overall body of work was celebrated, cementing his place as a distinguished actor in the entertainment industry. Reason for Death On January 30, 1991, at the age of 83, John McIntyre took his final bow. His passing marked the end of a career that spanned nearly six decades. McIntyre's legacy endures through his memorable performances, and his portrayal of Christopher Hale remains a testament to the enduring allure of classic television. Denny Miller as Duke Shannon, later seasons. Denny Miller, born on April 25, 1934, in Bloomington, Indiana, brought a tall and imposing presence to the world of entertainment. His journey unfolded from April 25, 1934, to September 9, 2014, leaving an impact that stretched across various genres. Miller's most notable stint was in the later seasons of Wagon Train, where he portrayed Duke Shannon, a character that added a fresh dynamic to the series. Biography and career. Denny Miller's journey into fame began in the world of sports, where he excelled as an athlete before transitioning to acting. Standing at 6 feet 4 inches, Miller's imposing stature caught the attention of Hollywood casting directors, leading to a career that spanned film, television, and even modeling. His versatility allowed him to seamlessly move between roles, making him a recognizable face on both the big and small screens. Most successful roles. As Duke Shannon, the taciturn yet formidable scout, Miller brought a new energy to Wagon Train. His character's mysterious past and rugged demeanor made Duke a compelling addition to the series, earning Miller a place in the hearts of Western enthusiasts. Most prestigious awards. While Denny Miller did not amass a collection of prestigious awards, his impact on popular culture and the success of Wagon Train attested to his significance in the entertainment world. Miller's contributions, marked by his unique presence and talent, remain a part of the enduring legacy of classic television. Reason for Death On September 9, 2014, at the age of 80, Denny Miller took his final ride into the sunset. His passing marked the end of a career that spanned over five decades, leaving behind a legacy that continues to be remembered by fans of classic westerns. And there you have it, the captivating stories of the trailblazers who brought the untamed West to life on Wagon Train. From the steadfast Bill Hawks, portrayed by the incomparable Terry Wilson, to the sage leadership of John McIntyre's Christopher Hale in the later seasons, and the enigmatic Duke Shannon, skillfully portrayed by Denny Miller, each actor left an indelible mark on the iconic series. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more nostalgic journeys through classic television, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our upcoming content. Your engagement fuels our passion for bringing you the stories that shaped the golden age of entertainment.